Hi there, I am the one, and in this episode, we will study about electronic configuration. Now, you know electrons, if you watched my previous two episodes, you learned about electrons, protons, and neutrons. So, in this, we are going to mainly focus on the number of electrons and valency. Okay, so now, first things first. This, let's revise electrons. Electrons are stuff which are on orbits, which are energy bonds, which revolve around the nucleus. That's correct? Okay, understood? Understood. Okay, so now, you know electrons are there. So, there must be, you know the electron repels electron, proton repels proton, neutron does not repel neutron. So, protons and neutrons are stuck together in the center, the electrons evolve, and there must be a, like a certain amount of electrons that can be there, right? A certain number, at least a certain number. Otherwise, in one shell itself, which is one orbit, the first orbit, there's going to be a thousand electrons. Not going to be there. It cannot be more than two, actually. So, it cannot be like six electrons. Because then they repel each other and they go bouncing off. Electron. Bye-bye. You don't want you. It's too much pressure in here. It should be a, like... The first shell will be small, comparatively, so there should be at least something, right? So this is valency. Okay, so the shell wants its outermost bond to be at least to its maximum point or nothing at all. So example is, if it, the numbers will be 1 to 4, it will want to complete its valency or octet. And if it's more than 4, we'll also want to complete the octet by 8 minus whatever it is, num amount, like, over there, the valency, valence electrons. So, you know that, if it's more than 1 or 4, more than 1 to 4, then you will want to create to, to its most extensive thing, or least, at all. Like, it doesn't want to range the middle, either 0, or 8, or 4, or 2, anything, not 4, okay. So now, electronic configuration. Valency will come later. Electronic configuration. So, electronic configuration is based on this optic rule and stuff like that, which we will understand right now. So, at, let's take sodium, which is, I think, atomic number 11. 11. So, atomic number 11. Remember, in the last class, I told you that atomic number is equal to number of electrons or the number of protons. So, Let's take electrons for now. Electrons. So, 11, which is sodium, has 11 electrons. We don't know in which shell and stuff. Okay, now, this is the formula. Better note it down. 2n square. Exponentiation comes first. So, don't do 2 into n and then 2n the square. No, it's 2 into n square. Good. So, now, let's... It's like, fine. So then, now it's 2n square is a formula for finding out the valence electrons. Okay, so now, where should we apply 2n square? It is a formula. We need something to apply it to, right? So n stands for the number of the shell. So suppose we take, like, um, we want to find out the valence, um, valence electron means the maximum amount of electrons which can be present in one shell. So we take the first shell, which is the close, smallest one. The number is 1. So 2 into 1 square. 1 square is 1 into 1, which is 1 itself. 2 into 1, 2n square, 2 into 1 square, 2 into 1. Simplify it again. 2 into 1 is equal to 2. Easy. 2 is the valence C. The maximum amount of electrons that can be in the first shell is 2. Now next, second one. You get it, right? 2n square. 2n is 2. So 2, 2, 2 into 2 square. Is that? 2 into 2 square. 2 square is 2 into 2, which is 4. 2 into 4 is 8. So, the valence electrons maximum is 8 in the second shell. So, now, if it wants to get to its maximum point. But for sodium, which is 11, we need one more. Because the number of electrons is 11. So, in the first shell, it will like it will want to become 2 or not, nothing at all. But sodium already has 11 electrons. Where the 11, 11 electrons going to go? So, it has to fill from the bottom to the top. So, in the third shell is 2 into n square, 
which is 2 into 3 square. 3 into 3 is equal to 9. 2 into 9 is equal to 18. So the third shell maximum of valence electrons will be 18. Now the next one will be 32 if we try it out, which we won't be requiring now. So sodium is 11. 11 electrons are there total. So how will you fit these 11 electrons into these three shells you know? We call them K, L, N, N, which not relevant. Okay, so first shell, let's call it K. Second shell, call it L. Third shell, call it N, we go later. K, K maximum is 2, right? This is first shell, 2, then comes 8, then comes 18. So now, we need to take this 11. 11 is electrons, okay? 11 electrons. Take the 11 electrons. So first shell, maximum amount is how much? 2. Second shell, 8. Third shell, 18. So 2. Let's take 2 away from it. Take, take 2 electrons, put it opposite each other so they impel each other. On top, we are orbiting the nucleus, which is stationary. 11 protons and how many ever neutrons. Okay. So next. Then comes the third shell. Third shell consists of how many? No, sorry. Second shell. Second shell consists of 8. Maximum is 8. So first and 2. Second is 8. What is 18? 2 is done. So 11 electrons minus 2 is 9. 9 electrons are left. Second is how much maximum? 8. Right? Remember? 8. So we take 8. We have to like, take all 8 electrons and put it there. Now 9 which is after we minus 2. So 9 minus 8 is equal to 1. 1. Now 1 is left. Just 1 electron. So now we take the, like, the electron out. And we put it. Yeah, we put it. And it comes in the third shell, which maximum is 18. So I put it in there. 1. We get 1. We get so the, the electronic configuration is from the bottom to the top. The smallest to the biggest. So so the first shell, which is a K, will come first, then comes L, then comes M, and Z. Okay, so K L M. So this is 2, 8. 1. So we represent as 2, 8, 1. That is the electronic configuration for sodium. So take out your periodic table, try some more elements, and please subscribe if you found this very helpful. And, and as always, thanks for watching. I said and twice.